Hey guys, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. Uh, today I am doing February's Plan With Me video. And if you watched last month's, um, not much is going to have changed because it's working and I kind of missed January. It, uh, it happened without me and here we are. <laughs> I was sick for a lot of it, if you've been following that saga. Um, I've been sick, my kids have been sick, and it's just been like a weird, weird week. Or sorry, month. See? Time has lost all meaning, and uh, the calendar tells me it's almost February, so that is why I am recording this video today. I'm going to do things exactly the same way, decoration-wise as well as organization-wise, which is why I'm ripping this washi tape in half. Um, it looked really good on the last... Uh, with... Let me see, I'll show you. I thought it looked really cool here. So I'm going to do the same thing with February. I'm just going to have this open. Down here is sort of a reminder guide. I'm not going to touch the front here. I think it looks classy by itself. Uh, but this is the freebie dashboard from my shop. And then this is insert 62. And this is, I think, insert 5. This is insert 43. So that's what I'm working on today. Um, I've got, let's see. I got this washi tape from Amazon. And this floral one from Daiso, like, years ago. So, sorry. Let's see. I liked the way that this looked, and so I'm just going to basically do the exact same thing with the washi tape. I was planning to use a different floral washi with, like, pink flowers. It's like a pink washi tape. But I kind of like the white washi tape look because it's, like, kind of translucent. You can almost pretend that it's transparent, even though it's not. It's just like, so we're going to go with that. Um, put a little there, put a little down here because I didn't really use this box. Um, this flat. Didn't really use this box. I'm just going to use it for a touch of decoration. I wasn't sure when I um, caved and like caved into the peer pressure of Instagram and got myself some of this like grid paper style washi uh, if I would use it for anything because I, I just liked the aesthetic of it when I saw it on Instagram but I wasn't really sure how to use it but um, I'm liking it as this layered look I think it looks really good layered underneath something um, I don't know why but I do so here we go. And I'm liking the ripped look, obviously, lately. So yeah, I was saying I was going to go with the pink one. Instead, I went with the white one. And then um, we'll see what I think of that as it goes down. Uh, then I was going to just do like a sort of pink theme for February. Because, you know, Valentine's Day and you do and whatever. Um, but I have done pink themes for Valentine's Day that I've ended up just hating. So I actually ended up picking this highlighter, uh, the like fluorescent teal one uh, from the Mild Liner set to be my accent color for the month. So we have, you know, there is pink in the floral, but uh, it's not really my primary decoration color after all. I'll just do a little, let's see here, there we go, okay, extra over there, so we're going to just like highlight goals, events, notes, next month tasks um, and also this box here light all of these little headers here I haven't not been using this this is called the Eisenhower matrix if you're not familiar um, I try I try to use my monthly more so that doesn't look too bad does it I, I like those colors together then on the back here, we've just got, did I do the same layering? I, I did a little bit of washi on the back, so I'm going to do the exact same washi on the back. Here we go here. There we go. What was I going to say? I don't know. I 
don't think I was going to say anything. Go. I think I like how this is coming out. There we go. I'm going to stop a bit of watching this new. different color for that. Maybe I should use, maybe I should use the pink just for the current light just to make it like, like that. Eh, it's not terrible. All right, so that's on the back. Um, I did fill this out for January because especially as I was looking forward to March and adding things to my March, or sorry, I was looking forward to February, adding things to my February future log, uh, I saw this and filled it out a little bit. So or fill it out all the way. Go for me. So I'm going to move stuff from that future log to here. Oh, I also need, I'm just going to pull out my stickers ahead of time. Let's see, we've got this one, this February one. are from Mad Hatter Sticker Co. And then of course I have to fill out this little grid, which oh, I was going to say, I was going to look up my handwritten one. I'll use this one, which is the same as this one. There you go. It's all, it's all accurate. I can tell. February 1st is a Tuesday. You can be counting. I have to pay lots and lots and lots of attention. Though so you can also do this because I can multiply by sevens. Let's see, 27, oh, 15, 16. But you still have to pay very close attention so as not to make a mistake that will haunt you for the rest of the month. A short one, but it still counts. Oh, see, oh, see, see, I very, very, very nearly put 29. Uh, and it, it's not right. 2020 was a leap year, it's not okay. Um, goals I don't know about goals. It, I will, I will have to think about it. Um, but I do have. Uh, okay, I have items here, uh, events, the second I have my glucose challenge. They gave, gave me my glucose drink early um, so that I can chill it and drink it on the way and then take my labs before I go up for my appointment, which is awesome. I wish they would do that all the time, but I had an appointment at 26 weeks, which I guess you don't usually have. It's my gosh, it's been a whole thing um, to getting this appointment scheduled and on the books because I, I was sick and then the doctor was sick. And then, uh, oh gosh, I thought it said triap. I wrote the word trial really weird. Trial. Um, I was sick, the doctor was sick, then I had COVID. And so now I was finally <laughs> cleared to go back into the office, but it was good. The appointment went well, everything went well. Let's see, we have some dental appointments. Notice my uh, notation is different here. I put 420 OB and then dentist 5 PM. So, whatever. Uh, let's see. And then on the 22nd, I'm pulling my echinacea, uh, A C A out of the fridge. I, I put the seeds in a little bit of a peat pod 
Jiffy Pod thing. Um, but then I put it in the fridge. You put it in the fridge for a month, it simulates winter, and then you pull it out. And then it can, it's happy in the, like, the summer and stuff. At least this is my understanding. I have to simulate winter. Um, it's called cold layering or something. Anyway, uh, I'm trying that. I've never done that before. My dad has done it with, um, milkweed. So it should be interesting. There are some to-do items that are still on my January <laughs> that I want to get done. So I'm not going to move them over until I need to get them done, both here and here. And, oh, just saw something on my, oh, it's there. Okay, good. Something on my events in January that I wasn't sure was on my next week here, but it is. Um, I'm still using this. Oh, I didn't put my stickers for today yet. Um, basically I'm almost at the end of this. I, I might f create a new spread or like decorate a new spread for my weekly, the rolling weekly by the end of the day or, or tomorrow morning. Um, but I'm not going to do that on camera cause I did that last week or the week before or something. You've seen that a few times now. Um, but it's working out. It went from Wednesday through Wednesday this time. So eight days. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it for another day. I think I'll just roll over this Thursday. So it's working. It's working out. I'm really liking this, but again, like even if I weren't, I don't think I would want to change things yet because I feel like I haven't gotten to really use my, um, my January very much and get a real feel for how it's going for me. Um, so I'm, going to keep going exactly the same in February. It's not the time for me to change things up right now. I'm not feeling inspired to do that. Um, so this is February. It looks, it kind of looks springy, but you know what, where I live, it is getting springy. The weather starts to warm up already. I mean, it comes back and forth and up and down, but I was, uh, possibly foolishly already starting some seeds, like I said, uh, and it might work out because it's that kind of climate here. We might, I have tomato plants that are still alive from the summer and are still producing cherry tomatoes and some brandy wines that are still green. It's crazy, but I'm kind of loving that. So I think I'm going to become a year round tomato grower, but I am trying to start some more from seeds again, because that failed miserably last year. Um, I think, is it next week? might be next week that I'm actually going to be doing, yeah, I'm going to be showing you my garden planner. So if you're into gardening stuff and you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can see how I'm planning my garden this year. It's with that Unikeep binder that they sent me back in like October and then I never did another follow-up video. Um, I will be. I still have the sticker binder. I still have not set it up. It's just been crazy. Like I said, we've been basically sick on and off since November things I am, I'm crossing my fingers that we're through the worst of it with the weather starting to warm up. It feels like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so that's coming back. Also, it's cause I haven't released any new inserts in the last month. So I'm not doing that for the first video of the month, uh, for a little bit, but, uh, yeah, it's all good. It's, it's all, I don't know. It's all coming. So subscribe if you haven't already, uh, look forward to those videos coming out and I will see you guys in the next one. Garden Planner on next Thursday. Bye.